Hi, my name is Trevor from the Philips Lighting Control Team and I'm now going to introduce you to a series of videos on InVision Manager. Our first look at the maintenance area of the InVision Manager client is to focus on the schedules. There are endless actions that can be scheduled so we will focus on the key features. We begin in the maintenance overview screen. Notice we have both schedules and also a schedule overview section. The schedule overview gives us a calendar view which can be viewed daily, weekly or monthly. Clicking on an individual schedule takes us straight into the schedule view to see the settings and actions defined. Let's start by creating a brand new schedule. From this screen we click New Schedules. First the schedule can be named. We are creating a schedule which will automatically turn the office lights on at a specific time each day. After deciding when the schedule will begin, we first review the days of the week required. This schedule will only occur during the working week, so Saturday and Sunday need to be excluded. The next important information is the time of day. It can be scheduled as a simple event with just a start time or a timed event which requires a start and an end time. The time can be specified as absolute or in relation to the sunrise and sunset times. The next thing to define is what will happen at the scheduled time. Click on Edit Actions and in the Action Editor window choose Add Actions. The list presented has many different options. Some of the key ones, running a macro or macro control allows us to run a pre-configured macro. Preset allows us to change an area within our project to a specific preset. The motion and PE control options allow us to control motion or light level in a sensor. Running a report or an emergency test can be scheduled for a specific time. For this example we are going to turn on the reception lights on the DALI level. Selecting preset then click on the new line to display configuration options on the right hand side of the window. Under area we click into the list and locate reception which is area 20. If a join value is relevant it can be chosen. The preset to be activated is going to be high. Our schedule can contain a whole sequence of actions. In our example we are also adding a delay which will be defined as 5 seconds. Our next action is to activate the motion control on the sensor located in the office. Again we choose the correct area but must also confirm enabled is chosen to activate the motion control. Finally we click on OK to store the action list and our first schedule is complete. Next we will create a timed schedule. We need to turn lights off for Earth Hour which is a special event happening on a specific date. First we click New Schedule Then after naming the schedule we click on Configure to the right of the special event. Creating a special event means it can be used for other schedules if required. The date is chosen and then our special date is selected. Earth hour runs from 8.30 to 9.30 p.m. 
so our scheduled type must be timed event. Now we must set our start and end actions. For our start event, we will make sure that the lights in the office are off. For this, we must select Preset, and choose the office with the preset of off. We then add a second action to make sure the sensor in the office is disabled for motion. For our end action, we are just reactivating the motion sensor in the office. So if no one is present, the lights won't automatically come back on. Clicking on OK completes the setup of this schedule. The final task is to schedule a report to run. Click on New Schedule and name the schedule Report Schedule. This report will be run at 5pm every Friday. When clicking on Edit Actions, this time we select Run Report Action. Clicking on the line then allows us to select a report. Reports have to be saved in the Favourites list to be selectable. We then choose our export format. The notification profile dictates who the report will be sent to. This is defined in the site settings on the Envision Manager server. Click on OK to complete the action. The report is now scheduled. We can now go back and review the schedule overview to see our new schedules in the calendar. You will notice both our office light schedules, which are shown during the week but not at the weekend, and our report schedule for Friday at 5 p.m. That concludes the maintenance section on schedules. It is now recommended that you move on to view the section on macros and triggers.